Ow. <laughs> so many wires everywhere. Ah. <laughs> we got light. We got light. Woohoo. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy, one of a kind, Zach, whatever you guys want to call me. Today's going to be a very interesting day, guys. We got a uh, big job ahead of us. And today we're going to go ahead and um, start and probably finish all the wiring on the boat. So here I got 200 foot of red and black, um, you know, uh, tin copper marine wire. Um, we have LED push button switches. I'll go ahead and show you guys those more in detail. I've got our automatic bilge pump i got some spreader lights um i got a fuse panel all that good stuff um blue sea by the way um and the nav light and the anchor light already came with the boats so we're gonna go ahead and test those out make sure they work so anyway guys stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and wire all this up have a good time and uh let's get right to it boys sit back relax let's have some fun let's learn let's have a good time we'll see you so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is install our little fuse panel box right here and i went ahead and went with the blue c1 guys wiring up a boat um i mean you really want to go with the highest quality stuff i mean if you lose your anchor lights spreader lights nav lights whatever or, you know anchor light um it could be it could cost you a lot guys as far as safety wise you know if stuff could happen all because you know you cheaped out on electronic stuff or whatever so i went with blue c one of the best brands out there for marine wiring um and rigging you'll pretty much see them every high quality boat um, I mean, it was like 60 bucks for this thing, but well worth it guys. So it has a built-in bus bar up here and then down here is the power sources with the fuses. So that's cool. So first thing we're going to do is going to screw this inside of our uh, center console right here. Um, get that set up. And then the first thing I want to go ahead and do is wire up my pre-existing nav light and my anchor light, see if they work. So now we're getting into the fun part, the wiring and the rigging of the boat, which is pretty cool. So let me show you guys what we got. So right here, guys, we have our bilge pump. Um, I went ahead, got a really good deal on this one, 40 bucks, got it at a flea market. So it's the automatic one, so you don't have to have a float switch with it. And um, I'm gonna wire it to be manual and automatic, just, you know, so it's automatic when I'm out here, manual if I ever wanna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've got 100 feet of 16 gauge red and black wire. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and snake that. You guys saw that in the previous episode, how I did that. So we gotta, unfortunately, snake it from all the way back to there. So that ought to be fun. Got our wires, boys. Well, guys, it's a brand new day. And what else would, we, would I rather be doing than working on the boat? So. Today guys, we're gonna go ahead and continue doing the wiring and I got these pretty cool spreader lights. Um, supposedly they're thousand lumens a piece, which isn't bad, I got four of them. So here's my idea, I was gonna put one here, one here, and then the same thing on the front. So I'll have two spreaders in the back, two spreader lights in the front, cause I wanna do some nighttime snapper fishing and stuff. So it'll be pretty cool to actually see what, I, what I'm doing and be able to record. So I got these thousand lumen, spread, lumen spreader lights. So what we're gonna have to go ahead and do is drill a hole in the t-top bracket to get this bracket on there and then there's a through bolt that goes in there and then we're gonna have to run the wires down into the console and um hook it all up to the switch and all that good stuff um let's go ahead and screw in our t-top i hate drilling holes in boats but gotta do what you gotta do boys let's go ahead and uh get her drilled on in Spreader lights are on. So now we gotta go ahead and uh, zip them up, make sure they're nice and tight, you know, so they don't go nowhere, kind of get them to our angle that we want to go. But we're gonna go ahead and run some wires, run them down here, and we'll be good. So let's go ahead and tighten these bad boys up. Spreader lights in, looking absolutely fantastic. So here's the idea, guys. We got two back spreaders, we got two front spreaders. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna wire these up in series and have it, have it on one switch as back and front. So we're gonna wire these up together, 
feed them through the pole of the t-top on that side and then the other ones on that pole of the t-top and then we'll hook it on up to the switch panel and everything else so we got to go ahead and splice these together All right, so you guys saw what I was doing as far as hooking these two lights up together and I'm gonna wire them in series. But first, what we have to go ahead and do is snake our wires in here. So same thing I've been doing this video, guys, and last video if you guys watched it. So I taped these together on an old control cable, actually. Um, this is what inside of a control cable looks like. And I already actually have the hole on my, uh, my T-top post. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and put this inside the hole right there and then run down the wires inside the console so let's get back in. Oh, oh, oh we got it we got it oh, oh, oh. look at this boys look at this look at this wires heck yeah got our wires right here let's go all right guys so now that we got our spreader lights all hooked up we have ankle light that works um we have our bills wired up we have to go and create a new uh, switch panel so i got a piece of starboard right here it's like quarter inch thick nothing too crazy we're gonna go ahead and cut it it's gonna go right below my helm and I have a little like hole saw where we're gonna cut out um, for our switches. So I'm very excited to get uh, going to do this, guys. Um, you guys are gonna be really impressed with the high quality switches I got. And um, let's go ahead and get to wiring, boys. Let's go, let's go. Alrighty guys, and so we got our switch panel, fits in nice and smooth. So it matches our uh, helm pad we got right here. So now we gotta go ahead and do, screw it on in, and then we're gonna go ahead and come up with our place we want our uh, switches for our lights and everything else. So let's go ahead and get drilled. Panel looking absolutely nice. So let me go ahead and show you guys what switch we went and went with. So I went with uh, yet again another Blue Sea product. It is a push button blue LED switch. And so it comes with all my connectors. It's one of those ones that you see on a really nice high quality boat. And obviously, you know, this isn't, you know, a super, you know, great like Intrepid or whatever, but we're trying to make it as nice as possible. So these things were, I got them at 15 bucks a pop, which is pretty expensive for just a switch, but it's gonna look pretty nice, I think. So I got four of these bad boys. So now we're gonna go ahead and line up on our new switch panel where exactly we want them. And um, I'm thinking we're just gonna do like a line and then have a line down there um, eventually once we get a bunch more stuff. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and do it and um, figure out exactly where we want our nice push button LED switches. Look at that boys that's a nice oh my gosh push button led switch right there boys Woo! let's go ahead and drill the rest
guys, look how good this actually looks. I mean, I know it's only four switches and I need some more, but guys, whoo, whoo, look at that, boys. Damn. It's gonna look even better when it's plugged in and everything else is hooked up, but it's looking really good right now. So for this specific thing, I actually had to call in some backup. I needed my old man to help me out. So I actually went ahead and bought these really, really nice name plates. I kind of go ahead and, and name what the switch is. So we're just kind of screwing them in, making some holes beforehand, and then going ahead and putting a, a screw in them. But it, it, it looks a lot better doing it this way instead of having like little stickers or whatever like that. Um, and it, they were fairly cheap too. They were only like a couple bucks a pop. So, you know, for 10 bucks, let's just say, give or take, it was well worth it to have, you know, put the finishing touch on our switch panel and it looks pretty good. Well, got a nice little change of scenery, guys. I'm gonna do, go ahead and do um, what I can inside to get a little bit of AC and stuff like that. So, per the switches, this is how you wire them. You guys can kind of see that little wire diagram right there. So, I can do one thing inside, which is basically hook up the positive to the uh, normally open one, and then we have to hook everything else up outside. So, we already got all of our wires run. Um, so, now it's just kind of going ahead and um, putting it all together, putting the final pieces together, so. So I'm just gonna, I got some 16 gauge wire, just gonna go ahead and cut it. Gonna go ahead. Gonna go ahead and strip my wire. Boom, there we go, we got our little wire right there. So we're gonna have to go ahead and do this five more times. Check this bad boy out, boys, look at that. That is our switch panel, guys. Now, it is not perfect by any means. I understand that. I kind of messed it up a little bit, but listen, it's my first time doing this. I'm still learning. I'm still in our early stages of the career, boys. You know, I'm not gonna be perfect, but I think it looks pretty freaking good. So, got it all nice and uh, screwed in. And all our name plates are on, switches are in. And so now, we gotta go ahead and do is, we already ran our wires and everything. Now, it's all about hooking it up. So, you guys can tell in there, we gotta go from there over to there. So, we're gonna have to go ahead and run our wires according to our little diagram right here. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the ground wire first and um, kinda just go from there. And then it's just kinda hooking up the positives and everything else. So, we're gonna start with one switch and then we're gonna test it, test the component, and then make sure we're doing everything right. Rough estimate of the length, guys as far as my ground cable so i did go ahead and buy um a hundred foot spool so i can kind of have the uh, advantage of kind of being able to guess a little bit and um also i also bought some like clips to kind of organize everything so if i have a little bit of excess wire it's gonna be okay Alrighty guys, check this on out. We got our switch all wired up. We created a power wire to go to our fuse block. And yes, I know this is an absolute mess right now, but we're going to zip tie everything up and, and really cable manage all of this. So now we got our little 10 amp fuse. We're gonna go ahead and pop it into place. Like, ah. come on fuse, come on Mr. Fuse. There we go, like so. And now we're gonna have to hook up our battery switch and hook our fuse panel up to give that power. So 
it never ends. And here's our battery switch. So I went ahead and went with the guest battery switch. Really just preference, Blue Sea guest. I mean, they're all pretty good, but got another brand new one. It's about 40 bucks itself. So we have to go ahead and install this to go ahead and finish our wiring. Come on. <laughs> I'm so weak. I need to hit the gym. All right, boys. So now I got to make, I got to make my positive go into my battery switch for my fuse panel. So let's cut some more wire. I'm actually gonna put my battery switch down there. I don't really want it too close to the fuse panel. And you can still get it, cause here's the hatch right here that opens up from the front. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna put it right down there in the corner, kind of have everything on one side, but you know, nice little space in between everything. <sighs> Let's drill more holes in the boat. I hate, I hate drilling stuff in the boat. Okay, cool. So that'll hold it in place so we can do the other four. Well guys, this is the big test. This is the test to see if we actually know what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this, my positive, to hook up my battery switch. Gonna go ahead and tighten these down a little bit. See, look how accessible that is. There's our little battery switch. Okay. Gonna go ahead and go to battery number one. Okay, battery number one. Oh boy, please. Do I know what I'm doing? Let's see. Oh snap, guys. That's a blue LED that's on. <laughs> we got light. We got light. Look at that, boys. <laughs> We're doing something right, boys. Heck yeah. Look at those spreader lights. Guys, check out what we did. Spreader lights looking absolutely clean. Anchor light clean. Wires, mess, but it's all right. Not for long, not for long. So check out our switch panel right here, boys. So you guys saw the front spreader lights. Boom, back spreader lights. We got light, we got light. And anchor, we'll hit our anchor light. Oh, if you guys can tell, we got light. We got light. clips that we're gonna screw into the console and it's gonna kind of hold the wires in place and everything else like that make it so that it's everything's got its own little home and then you'll kind of be able to like you know get in here if you need to and it doesn't look like trash Well, here's the finished product, boys. Got everything cleaned up as far as the switches and stuff like that. Got it kind of snaking all over there. Use my clips. And this could have came out a little bit better, but I mean, listen, boys, I'm not a super professional. I mean, I did my best, but obviously it could have been a lot cleaner. Um, but still, I mean, everything's somewhat organized. I can still tell what is what. Here's that, got our battery switch, everything else. Kind of tell it's all, you know, nice and zip tied, everything else. It's not a spaghetti mess. And to be honest with you guys, if you guys have seen some of the new boats, I mean, it isn't even as nice as this. So could it be a little better? 100%, but is it pretty good? I think so. I mean, it, it's nice and clean. Um, you know where everything's at. I mean, it looks, it looks professional, in my opinion. Now, some people might disagree, but everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So the next step of inside the console, which I'm gonna do, not on video, but my harness for our engine and all these wires here on the floor, as far as battery cables, everything else, I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up um, and just kind of organize it because I really want the inside of here to look really, really nice. Um, but I'm not gonna do that in this video, but you guys saw me do all the wiring in here. Looks pretty damn good if I would say so myself. I mean, like I said, could it be better? 100%, but am I happy with my job I did? Yes, um, it looks pretty good in my opinion. So here she is, guys. 
Alrighty guys, so this is gonna do it for this episode. Um, in this one, you guys saw us do wiring. We got some light going um, and we had a good time, learned a lot. Um, you know, we're, we're getting better with our craft and everything else. We're getting a little more organized, it's looking good. Um, like I said guys, could it be better 100%, but am I disappointed in my job? No, I think it looks better, pretty good. And if you guys have been to a boat show or anything else like that, you guys have seen brand new boats that have looked a lot worse. So, am I mad with this? No, but I, I'm pretty hard on myself. So, I mean, I don't know, it is what it is. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's been a really productive episode and the boat's coming along, boys. Boat's coming along. We got wires, we got lights, we got switches. And she's starting to look really good, you know? So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys learned something, please leave a like on this video so more people can see it. And um, if you guys are new to the channel, or if you're watching and just haven't subscribed, subscribed yet, please, please go ahead and subscribe, boys. Um, I'm on the road to a thousand. Um, be honest with you guys, these episodes are costing a lot of money as far as to work on the boat. So, the faster I get to a thousand subscribers, the faster I can go ahead and start making some money. Kind of help us out with the content, boys. Comment down below what you guys thought of this video. Let me know what you guys would have done different. Let me know what you guys think of the work I did. You know, constructive criticism is always a good thing. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy. I'm exhausted, about to go pass out. And I will see you in the next one. It's been your boy, and I'm out. Peace.